Hello and welcome back to fifth grade math for today. I'm Miss W. Um, we are on week two, day four. Um, let's go ahead and get started on question number one. So question number one says, write less than, greater than, or equal to to make the statement true. Um, look at these numbers. We are dealing with decimals. The best way to compare decimals is to line them up. So we have 10 and five hundredths, and then we have 10 and five thousandths. I'm gonna go over here, let's write these numbers out. So we have 10 and five hundredths and 10 and five thousandths. So just like we've done before, we're gonna compare the place value of each number and see which one is bigger. So the ones are the same, the zeros are the same, Okay, the tens place is the same. The hundredth place, oh, wait a minute. This five is bigger than the zero. And you can add a placeholder zero here. So I'm gonna stop right here because the hundredths place is bigger than the zero. So I know that this number is greater. So we're gonna come over here. Um, when you're doing your signs, remember the alligator eats the bigger number. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that I put it this way to eat the five hundredths, right? It's bigger than thousands. All right, here we go. Second question. Write 900,000 plus 80,000 plus 500 plus 7 in standard form. Standard form means to write it as one number, right? So in number form, standard form. The best way to do that, it's telling you what to do. Let's go ahead and we're gonna add the numbers up. We're gonna line up those um, place value. Okay, so we have 900,000, 80,000, 500. And you see that I'm being very careful to line the numbers up in their place value, right? By place value. And then seven is in the ones place. So I'm gonna make sure to do that. Okay, now if you're new to doing this, right? And you see these are really big numbers. We can add placeholder zeros if that helps you, okay? We can do that. It's perfectly fine. It's not going to hurt anything, okay? So we have seven, zero, five. There's nothing here. We have eight and nine. And I'm sorry, I didn't really do a really good job keeping those numbers very straight, um, but I know that you did a better job than me. So um, the number written in standard form is 980,507. Okay, that is your answer. Next question, number three. Start at 92. Uh-oh, this is telling me to follow instructions. Create a pattern that adds 13 to each number. Stop after five numbers. Oh my goodness. It's giving me instructions. I need to do exactly what it's telling me to do. So let me erase some of this so we can have some room here. Okay, and we are gonna follow these instructions very carefully because we wanna get the correct answer. So it says to start at 92. Okay, create a pattern. It says add 13 okay, to each number. We're gonna stop after five numbers. So this would be like my number one. So you could do it this way. You can create a table. You can do it however you want. You can create a number line and you can skip count, whatever you wanna do, right? I'm just gonna do it this way because I'm a visual person and I like to see everything lined up. So here's my first number. So it's 92, right? My second number is gonna be here because I just added 13 and then we're gonna stop after five numbers. So two plus three is five. Nine plus one is 10. You can carry the one, but you're gonna just bring it right back down, okay? So the 92, because it said start at 92, okay? 92 was my first number. My second number is 105, 
okay? I'm gonna add 13 because that's what it told me to do. It said add 13 to each number, okay? This is gonna be number three down here when I get that answer, okay? So five plus three is eight, one plus zero is one, and one plus zero is um, one. Okay, so I have 92, 105, 118. We are almost done. It said to stop after five numbers, so we're gonna keep going. So now I'm gonna add 13. Okay, this is gonna be number four. Okay, eight plus three, eight, nine, 10, 11, 11. Carry the one, one, two, three, and there's zero, so bring down that one. Okay, I'm almost done, y'all. This is a lot of work, but it's so worth it to get the correct answer. Okay, we're gonna add 13 one more time, and this is gonna be my fifth number. So three plus one is four. Um, three plus one again is four, and one plus zero is one. Okay, so my fifth number is 144. Oh my goodness, it's a lot of work. So this is your answer. So we have 92, 105, 118, 131, and 144. Oh my goodness. Last question of the day. Let's read it. Emma spent $6.25 for spaghetti and meatballs, $1.12 for a bottle of water, and $3.75 for a piece of cake. Sounds good. How much money did Emma spend on her entire dinner? So that's everything that she paid for. So I need to erase this again. Give me some room. I'll just erase that. All right. And let's write everything out. So we have $6 decimals. We need to line those decimals up. $6.25. Okay. I have 120. Sorry, $1.12. And 375. So 1, 12, and 375. We're going to add this up because it wants to know how much she spent all together. So I like to add there's big numbers. 5 plus 5 is 10, plus that 2 is 12. Carry the 1. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 carry the one and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11. And bring down my decimal. So this girl spent $11.12 on her entire dinner. All right. Whew. That was a lot of work this week, but you know what? You're getting so much better and I will see you tomorrow. See you later.